I've tested a lot of hiking shoes and one shoe crushes the spirit of all the others. Humiliated, embarrassed, self-loathsome, broken, ashamed. Hey, Alan Earhart here with Dusty Hikers, the channel where I go on hiking adventures and test some of the best hiking shoes on the planet. So what makes a great hiking shoe and how does this one shoe do it so well? Well, to get to the bottom of this, you need to dust off your economics textbook from college. Pareto efficiency or Pareto optimality is a situation where no action or allocation is available that makes one individual better off without making another one worse off. You see, every hiking manufacturer is trying to maximize four parameters, comfort, stability, protection, and traction. But inevitably what they wind up doing is giving a lot of importance to one of those, causing another one to get worse. In the Adidas Terex Swift R3, what they did was they created a shoe that has an extremely rigid, hard outsole. This compound is like armor. It's like concrete. It's like metal. Consequently, these shoes are not very grippy. They have good traction, but if you're on anything that's smooth and especially wet, these things are slippery. Hoka Speed Goat 5 is famous for being super comfortable, right? They put this massive stack in here, this super lift, and yet the shoe is not very stable. If you're walking downhill on uneven terrain and stepping on stones and stuff like that, I felt like my foot was sort of sliding off the top of the shoe. You feel a little bit wobbly and uneven. So in this case, they maximize comfort, and they lost some stability. And I could go on and on showing you plenty of examples where a shoe manufacturer tried to maximize one of those parameters, traction, protection, comfort, and stability, and wound up causing another one to go down. Selfishness is being concerned excessively or exclusively for oneself or one's own advantage, pleasure or welfare, regardless of others. You see, all of these shoes are selfish. Oh, I'm minimalist, but you better be darn sure you know exactly where you're stepping, otherwise you might have some problems. I have a very thick midsole and nothing else matters. Conclusion, being unpretentious beats egocentrism, especially when it comes to hiking footwear. The Brooks Cascadia embarrassed all other shoes I've tested this year because it does not have any gimmicks. This shoe does everything well, comfort, traction, protection, and stability. It's not a shoe that requires you to think about something else while you're wearing the shoe. It does all of that very well. You are the protagonist and not this shoe. This shoe is there for you, super reliable, and you don't have to think about all those other things. If you want more information about this amazing shoe, go check out the video on my channel that reviews this shoe. I also have another video that compares this shoe to these two shoes, and it is embarrassing.